Alrighty, Crom's Canyon. And this is actually killing Crom, this isn't Crom's Canyon. Um, Crom. Hey, Hunter Hugs. Yeah, you guys are going to be seeing him playing lots of games in this walkthrough because he is one of my most active friends who is constantly changing what game he's playing. So, get used to it. Him and his avatar. Um, so, here Krom is on a giant turret, and it fires rockets, which rockets are not are not good when I'm trying to snipe him. And obviously, Hunter's having some you know problems here. But this is going to be one of the few videos that I do talk strategy because Krom is kind of a difficult boss if you do not know what you're doing and also he's a boss so you know kind of got a talk strategy here but uh, what you can do is you can try and snipe him out if you do have more than one person which I do not obviously um, man what? logging on man I forgot to set my status to busy but I didn't really care too much um, so here we're just going to be advancing while Krom's shooting the crap out of us with his crappy turret uh, as long as he doesn't have vision of you, he can't do damage, so that's always nice, and he has that giant laser sight, I think, on his turret. He might or might not, doesn't matter. Um, but we're just going to be fighting our way up. Uh, I out-level these guys big time, so it's kind of a slaughter fest. As you can obviously see, I'm a level 28, and if you, if you up to, if you up guys by two levels, then, you know, you... You got this. I mean, I'm level 28 fighting 24s. It's kind of, kind of, kind of easy. But uh, you know, do some, do some foot sniping, do some chest sniping. Uh, have a good sniper rifle for this. That's what I definitely recommend. Um, and don't let Crom shoot the crap out of you. You just want to constantly keep advancing. If you have such a high level um, advantage on these guys, then you know you can really just plow forward through this. I mean, this isn't difficult by any means. So here I was just trying to take cover, hoping that there would not be a cliff right at the end of that, but there was. But uh, here we got a weapons chest. So that's always nice. Except uh, they suck. But I pick them up anyway, because, you know, money is time is money and money is money. And guns are also money in Borderlands. But uh, if you guys are wondering what my grenade mod is, I don't actually know, but it is a shock something. I know it's not shock Merv, but it's something along those lines. I might show it later in the guide, but uh, it does about 66 damage, and as you saw right there, no scoop, um, it causes those huge shock things. It's really good against shields. That's all I care about. Um, so here I had a bruiser. Maybe he was even a badass bruiser. I think it's just a normal bruiser. Badass bruiser is scary, man. Ugh, try saying badass bruiser. Bruiser. Three times fast. Um, so anyway, you know, you're, you're going to have small pockets of enemies, and eventually you can come up here where you can fight, or Krom will be slowly turning his turret around, and he's facing me, and I don't really know what happens here. I guess I killed him. He's he's really easy to kill once you get up close and personal. So all you got to do is I would throw down my turret. I'm a soldier, which I have not really mentioned too much. But uh, pick up all his Monet, and uh, there is also his sidearm, which kind of sucks. Um, but uh, there is your reward. Um, it's a sniper rifle and all that stuff. Uh, the alien the 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 woman chick talk talks to you after you pick this stuff up, so I'll shut up and let you guys hear. Or did you? I'm always watching you, friend. Be careful. Others are starting to see their own opportunity. 